trust you You got everything in your hands we trust Even when I don't understand I trust you Because you Celebrate our love. Oh, Saba, Toda, Iti, Baba. Oh, Saba, Toda, Iti, Abara, 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 Toda, Abara. Lift your voice and declare it. Oh,
for your loving kindness, for your goodness, for your abundant blessings, for your grace, for life. We say thank you, thank you. Only the living can praise you. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Our hope, our strength, our shield, our strong tower. Faithful, merciful, dependable, covenant-keeping God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you because we can gather like this in your name. You are the one who woke us up this morning. Thank you because we are alive and well. We can sing, we can dance, we can clap. We can rejoice in your goodness and your faithfulness, your loving kindness, your tender mercies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Faithful, faithful, merciful God, thank you. Lord, we give you all the glory. Ancient of days, eternal rock of ages. Holy One of Israel, Jesus our Savior, we thank you because we are called by your name. It is unto you we have gathered. It is in your name we have gathered. And we know that your presence is here with us. Holy Spirit, we depend on you today. Come breathe upon us afresh. Come in your fullness, come in your power, come in your anointing. Let yokes be destroyed today. Speak to us, O oh Lord. Save souls here today. Please heal the sick today. Restore as you alone can. And come and help us today to praise you and to worship you like never before. That all that we will do here today will be well pleasing in your sight. That your name alone be glorified and our joy be full to overflowing. Lord, we give you all the glory. We know you will do more than we can ask or think. For it's in Jesus' name we have worship. Amen. Let's celebrate God. Let's clap on to him. Let's let his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a good day. It's a good day to be in God's presence. Please be seated. It's a wonderful day to be in God's presence at this our special plug-in worship service. And uh, this morning, as we usually do, we'd like to welcome all those who may be worshiping here with us at the City of David for the very first time. So if it's your first time here at the City of David this morning, we want to welcome you. If you would just indicate by raising your hand, is anyone here for the first time? We just want to greet you. Hallelujah. Can you please stand wherever you are? We just want to welcome you. City of David, let's welcome all our first time guests. This is where the love of God reigns. So don't sit down. Make sure you greet at least one person this morning.
all of you worshiping with us for the very first time, we welcome you with joy. We're glad to have you here with us at the City of David. This is the parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. This is the place where the love of God reigns. This is where dreams come true. This is where legends are born. This is where tomorrow's history is experienced here today. And our prayer for you as you have come is that God will remember you for good today and you will have awesome testimonies in Jesus' name. Please be seated. I believe uh, you've received our welcome cards and our bulletin for this week. There's information about the city of David in the bulletins, but we would like to please request that at the end of the service, uh, you wait behind for a very short reception for about five minutes. We would like to give you a gift, give you some refreshments, and also get to know you a bit better. So see you at the end of the service. Next, let's welcome all those worshiping with us. We have a growing community from all over the world. Like we say, if you wave, they can see us from all over the world. Just wave this morning. Hallelujah. If you're worshiping with us this morning online, our prayer is that God will bless you indeed. You will have awesome testimonies. Please continue to send in your testimonies online. Please continue to follow us on all our social media platforms. Please continue to give online and God will certainly bless you indeed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Next, uh, we want to celebrate that special group of people. Uh, for a few of us, this was a special week. So if it's been your birthday from Monday up till today, uh, please stand to your feet so we can celebrate with you. We are a special group of people. It was my birthday on Monday. And if it was your birthday this week, please stand to your feet and God will bless you. Happy birthday. We sing himself will bless them and that as God has made them to see another year on this side of eternity that it will give them many more years of joy of peace of prosperity of service in the kingdom of God and service to humanity that every year they will look back and they will say this has been a better year than the former year they will never have a worse year as they grow older, they will get stronger. 
they will be greater, they will be more anointed, they will do more work for God, and they will excel in everything they touch, and they will impact generations for God. And if the Lord tarries, they will finish strong and arrive in heaven at the right time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. We have testimonies. Adenuga, Mike, and Ebum say, Praise the Lord for bringing us together 26 years ago. Hallelujah. And keeping us in his love and faith, we bless him for salvation, for the wonderful children he has given us and uh, who are growing in his love, and for successful careers, divine health, peace, love, provision, and all that pertains to life and godliness. Praise the Lord. Wrote to me, Akindipwe says, uh, I'm thanking Jesus for a uh, sound mind and sound health, for divine protection for our family, for divine direction and breakthroughs in business, for journey mercies everywhere I go. And I prophesy God's favor will continue to be with every member of the city of David in Jesus' precious name. Shola and Tutu Adedeji say, we are extremely grateful to Jehovah El Shaddai for graciously enabling our daughter to pass all her exams in flying colors and to be admitted into university of her choice. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's stand to our feet and celebrate the faithful God. Let's clap unto the Lord, the one who daily loads us with benefits, the merciful, dependable, covenant-keeping God, the one who does not fail, who cannot fail. Father, we give you all the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Please be seated for the City of David News. Good morning, City of David. I am absolutely delighted to welcome you to this week's edition of the COD News. My name is Ogo. This Tuesday, we shall be meeting for a wonderful time to study the word at our Digging for Gold service. We start at 6.30 p.m. here in the sanctuary. On Thursday, it will be time to encounter power as of old, capable of destroying every yoke and chain at our prayer, praise, and Pentecost service. We start at 6.30 p.m. Come expectant. Then on Friday, we shall be praising the Lord non-stop for an hour at our His Lord's Praise Hour service, holding here in the sanctuary at noon. The annual Arise program is here again, and this year promises to be more interesting and different, as a lot of women will be empowered and will be launching the building of the Arise Women Village in Lagos, which comprises of a fully-fledged women and children hospital, empowerment and skill acquisition center, and a computerized literacy unit. The theme for this year's Arise Women series of events is Bloom. Kindly save the dates as it will kickstart with the Arise Walk for Life, which is a million man walk and scheduled for the 12th of October, 2019. And then the Arise Women's Conference, which will see women from all walks of life converge on the 26th of October, 2019 to start blooming. Save the dates as you don't want to miss out on these historic events. Please note that there will be an empowerment campaign as the Arise Women will be empowering over 1,000 women in various skills, including catering, soap making, event planning, photography, tailoring, bag making, and many more. To participate in this empowerment scheme, kindly register at the Arise Women's Stand downstairs. The COD Wisdom Group Scholarship form is out. Kindly visit the church website to download it or visit the church office for more information. Kappa Diem, 
an early morning fellowship of worshippers who set out to seize the day in the place of prayers, worship, and the word holds at the following centers on various days and times of the week showing on the screen. Please make our time to attend. Come next Sunday, the 1st of September, 2019, our special Thanksgiving and last dance service will be holding here in the sanctuary. So come down as we pour out our thanks to God for all he has done and is still doing in the second half of this great year. Please note that this is going to be a single service and we begin at 7.30 a.m. In closing, we pray that as we wrap up this month of August, Every word that the Lord has spoken into our lives that is yet to be fulfilled will be made manifest this week in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening and watching. This is the city of David where the love of God reigns and dreams come true, where legends are born and tomorrow's history is experienced today. Praise the Lord. Please let's give the Lord a big round of applause. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, we thank God for today. We have in the house one of our generals in the Papa family, Pastor Taiwo Oshinusi from Jesus House, Nashville, Tennessee. You're welcome, sir. Anytime you're in that part of the world, please visit them there. It's a great church, great worship. You'll be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. And quick announcement. Um, September 29th Thanksgiving service is one service as we know. Next Sunday, please invite your friends and family, and even those that think they're your enemies, invite them, and they will become your friends. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please let's clap for the Lord as Pastor Mecca takes us through building fun. Praise the Lord. It's now time for our building fun. Uh, but before we um, give our offerings, as we stated last three Sundays, and then last two Sundays and last Sunday, we have reached a milestone on our Trinity Tower project. Can we clap unto the Lord? If you look at the back of the bulletin, you will see that we have cast the last floor, which is the um, helipad floor. Can we clap unto the Lord? So, now we are at the finishing stage. And we have actually prophesied it some time ago in this banner saying finishing strong. So brothers and sisters, by the grace of God, we will finish strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor I did launched even this project 2020, which we have these forms going around. So if you have not filled this form, can you just raise your hand so that the ushers will give you this form. It's project 2020 and it is the finishing stage of the project. And to launch that, we had actually decreed and said that we are going to worship in the Trinity Towers on the first Thanksgiving service of 2020, which is on 5th January. Can we clap unto the Lord? We know that it will take quite a lot for those of us in the building industry to be able to worship there on January 2020 requires a lot of things to be put in place. We are not guaranteeing that the whole project will be finished, but we want to put it at least in a stage that it will be conducive for us to worship there. And that's what we started with calling Project 2020 or Vision 2020. And in the form that we have here, and I, I want to use this opportunity to thank all those who have already signed up. We already have over 200 people that have signed up. But we believe that in a church of over 4,000 people, that many, many, many more will sign up. I know that um, we've all keyed into the building fund, we've all keyed into the pledges. But this time, finishing strong, brothers and sisters, may you not be found wanting at this stage in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's something we need to use to thank God. The Bible tells us in, that is when we were starting. It says the hands that laid the foundation, that hand will be well to see to the completion of that project. And for God to keep me alive, to keep you alive, to see to this stage that we are going to the finishing stage, is something to clap again unto the Lord. And for you to appreciate God, brothers and sisters, 
just pick up this form, sign up, take up one part, any part of even the finishing. Because over here we have listed, or more or less we um, dissected the finishes from the tiling to the altar to the seats, 5,000 seats, to the toilet, to even the borehole water treatment, to the sewage treatment plant, to the elevators, the electrical system, the, even the escalators, all the things, the car parks, the staircases, every part of that project, we've listed it. But I think the next thing we need to understand is that what we listed here and the estimates we gave here are just approximate estimates. It could be higher, it could be lower as we go on, because we believe that as we do bulk even negotiation for all these items, we might likely give, get it cheaper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And also we need to note that this is a large project. What we are actually aiming for is for the first four floors of the project, four floors of the project, which is the church aspect of the project. Yeah. Now, the ground floor is the parking lot, the parking areas, the, both the basement and the underground car park. The first floor is the entrance, which is the entrance area that will lead us even onto the auditorium. On that first floor, we are going to have the hospitality, the new guest area, the toilets as the case may be. The second floor is actually the sanctuary floor, the lower gallery of even the auditorium. The third floor is the mezzanine floor or the upper gallery of the auditorium. Then the fourth floor is the junior church, the, uh, the junior church and so many other facilities. So out of it, all these four floors comprise the church aspect, the COD aspect of this project. Then after that, we then have Tower A, Tower B, Tower C. These are towers for rental where we expect even to get even income that will enable us continue to, to do the CSRO activity. So we need to know that our target now is for the four floors. And it's important to even note that we need partners. I believe that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you and is speaking to over 200 people that have signed on. So many of them, are, most of them are even calling pastors and saying, I want to take this, I want to take this. Perchance, if you have already pledged and you have not filled this from brothers and sisters, in order to record, for the accountants to be able to record, kindly pick up even the form, fill it up. And from the form there, there is a column for the amount through quantity. Now, for each of the items, let's take, for example, the seats. There are 5,006 that we are going to do there. We have a unit cost for the seats. So all you need to write is the number of seats you are going to take. But then there are some items that have a bulk sum, something like the sewage treatment plant. Now we are go not going to dissect it, but it has a total estimate. Just write the amount you are going to take there that will constitute your own part that is partnering to do the project. The important thing is that some people, maybe they are um, intention or their vision or their passion is to do even the lifts. Now, from here, the, one of the lifts is 40 million. But perchance, you don't have the 40 million. Maybe you have 5 million. Maybe you have 10 million, as the case may be. But then you need partners. Now, you are even allowed to pick up partners, both in the church and outside the church. Maybe go to your circle of friends, pick them up and say, my vision, my passion is to do a lift. I do not have partner with me so that I can do that lift. And as you do so, God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The other point we need to note is that in this project, there will be a role of honor. Every single person that has even played to this project, your name will be there. Amen. On the outside, that role of honor, the wall of the role of honor, is going to take over 5,000 names. And from the pledges we've had about 2,000, about uh, approximately 3,000. So there's still space for each of you to even have your name there. Even if you give one naira, your name will be there. And we believe that God says that the redeemed Christian church of God is the church that he will meet even when he comes back to the earth. And when he, if he meets the redeemed Christian church of God, as pastor has said, where will, do you think he will worship one of the Sundays? It will be at the Trinity Towers. And what a glorious thing it will be if your name is in that role of honor. 
But brothers and sisters, there are two roles of honors. The one on the outside is going to take every member of the church, everybody that has donated. But the one on the inside is going to take just a few because there's not enough space. So as you even increase, even you are giving. Brothers and sisters, may your name translate even from the outside to the inside in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But as we do this, let's also not forget that we still have the three towers, Tower A, Tower B, Tower C. These are the rental, that's where we are um, looking forward to get the rental income. If you have anybody who is needing office space, meet uh, Pastor Benga and he will even direct you. We need even tenants. We need tenants to come up and take it up so that we can continue to do our CSR activities. And as you do so, God will surely bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give a lot of big round of applause. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. As Pastor Mecca was speaking, um, I just remembered what Pastor Heidi shared with us when we were talking to him on the phone, uh, that many people collected the forms, but they have not returned them. Uh, please fill the forms and return them. It's a step of faith. Uh, many of us, when we started, we just pledged as we were led. We didn't have the funds at the time, but as we were stepping out in faith, God moved. Amen. So God moves as you move. Praise the name of the Lord. If you don't move, then God will be looking at you, but as you move, God moves. Praise the Lord. But let it come from your heart that you desire to be a part of this project, especially the finishing part and everything concerning you that needs to be completed, God will complete it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then, uh, if you look at your bulletin, how many of us remember the theme for the year in the city of David? Do you remember what the theme is for the year? For behold, I will do a new thing. How many people agree that this Trinity Towers is a new thing? I think we need to give the Lord a big round of applause. And if you look at that scripture in Isaiah 43:19. It says, see, I have already begun. Do you not see it? Do you not see it? Please turn around and look at the Trinity Towers again. Look at it again. Do you not see it? Aha. Uh -huh. It's a new thing. It's a new thing. And it says, I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers. In other words, things that have not yet happened will start to happen. Things that you thought were impossible will become possible. Things that you thought will not come your way will suddenly come your way. Amen. Things that you think this may be too much for me will suddenly become attainable. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want us to use our offering today to pray and say, Father, this is a new thing you're doing in the city of David. This is a new thing you're doing in Lagos State. This is a new thing you're doing in Nigeria. Do something new in my own life, something new. I want something new. I don't know if anybody here wants God to do something new in their life. Something new. Something that has not yet happened. Amen. And believe this prayer and God will answer it in Jesus' name. So please prepare your offering as we take the update quickly. Trinity Towers pledge update. Total pledge to date is 11,873,600,000. Thousand nine hundred and ninety five naira only. Please let's give the Lord a massive round of applause. Amen. Amen. Number of people that have pledged two thousand eight hundred and thirty five, and number of people that have redeemed so far two thousand seven fifty nine. And for those of us that are watching online, please you can also join us. Just go to the necessary portion on the website. You see Trinity Towers. You can click on it and follow the instructions. Praise the Lord. Amen. Additional amount redeemed from Sunday till date, 4,347,720. Let's clap unto the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, the total amount that has been spent on the project so far is 7 billion. 225 million naira only. Let's clap unto the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And then we're on project 623 million. Out of 623 million, the Lord has helped us to redeem in the month of August 
320,767,625 Naira, 24 copper only. Amen. Praise the Lord. As you keep on clapping, that's how you be clapping. People will be clapping for you. Billions will come your way. Amen. How many people are now comfortable with that word billion? You know, initially it sounded like a very big figure. Now we're just saying it anyhow. Billions, billions, billions. So shall it be for all of us. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. So please let's prepare our offerings. And don't, re don't forget the prayer point. Lord, do a new thing in my life as you lift up your Trinity Towers offering. Please let's rise. And like we always encourage everybody, even if you're not giving at this time, still rise. It's a step of faith. And the prayer for you is, Lord, next time I will give something. Amen. As I rise, I'll be able to give next week. Amen. Please, let's lift up our offerings to God and pray. Say, Father, thank you for the Trinity Towers project. Thank you for helping us to finish the first phase. And we know you will help us to finish the finishing. That by your grace, come January 2020, we'll worship you in that sanctuary. Father, as we give, you said you would do a new thing. And we can see that the Trinity Towers is a new thing. In my life, oh God, do a new thing. Something brand new. Something new that will make my joy full and your name will be glorified. And I promise you, Lord, I will testify in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. I receive that new thing and I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I had a witness that some of you have to still come back and sow another seat. Amen. Thank you.